implies in the Arabic language al-umum, comprehensiveness. In other words, a believer can have a relationship with any kind of sin, whether minor or major. Now, the believer's relationship with a sin is now of two types. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, يَعْتَادُهُ الْفَيْنَةَ بَعْدَ الْفَيْنَةَ One situation is that he commits this sin and he commits it rarely. So he's not consistent and consistent upon it. So he commits the sin now and after a few months he commits it again. After six months he commits it again. The idea is the first situation is that he is very rare to commit this sin. The second situation, and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, The other situation is that a believer, the same believer, could have a relationship with a sin in where he commits very regularly and he's persistent and consistent upon it. And he does not separate and stop himself from this sin until he himself is separated from this worldly life. In other words, until he dies. Yeah, and he like a person who shaves his beard, he runs the blade on that which Allah Azza wa Jal made it haram to run upon. And he does this very regularly. He shaves his beard every two, three days. Or perhaps like the sister who walks out of her house regularly every day without adhering to the proper Islamic dress code not only we're speaking about the scarf, لَأَنَّ the Islamic hijab is beyond a headscarf. Or it could be that person who just cannot control his tongue and swears and slanders and so on, not once a day, almost two, three, four hundred times in one hour. Or it could be the person that smokes not one cigarette a day, packets and packets a day. For this is the believer's situation. Now Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the beginning part of this hadith explained the problem. This is the problem. A person that commits a sin and cannot stop. What's the solution? Listen to the second half of the hadith. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he says, إِنَّ الْمُؤْمِنَ خُلِقَ مُفَتَّنَا تَوَّابًا نَسِيًّا Allahu Akbar. This is the solution. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says that the believer has been created to be tested. That's right. Every single believer will be tested. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tests us in many ways. He tests us through calamities and their many forms. He tests us through trials, through fitan. He tests us with sins and so on. خُلِقَ مُفَتَّنًا but a quality of the believer also that Allah Azza wa Jal gave him the ability to do so, Tawwaban, he's a repenter. Tawwaban suggests that he frequently repents. So just as he frequently makes a sin, commits the sin, he's also frequent and updated in his tawbah. Nasiya, one of his qualities is nasiya, that he forgets. Just like our father Adam alayhi salam, when he ate from the forbidden tree in the paradise, Allah Azza wa Jal, he said, Fanasi, he forgot Adam alayhi salam, Nasiya, Iza dhukkira dhakar, whenever he is reminded, he quickly remembers. Whenever the believer is reminded of the horrible nature of sins, whenever he's reminded to fear Allah Azza wa Jal, whenever he's reminded of the punishment of Allah Azza wa Jal, dhakar, he quickly acts upon this reminder and he quickly gets up and he performs the tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In other words, my brothers and sisters in Islam, the problem is I keep sinning, I cannot stop. The solution is, these are the, this is the cycle you're supposed to follow. Just like you have a cycle